Hello everyone, welcome to Vim Modeler. In this video tutorial, we will learn using Dynamo import or export data from or to Excel in Revit. The download links are below. You can download and subscribe. I have a sample project open. It's a basic sample project from Autodesk. I also have a room schedule for the same. In this tutorial, we will learn exporting the data to a room data to a Excel and importing back to the updated one to Revit. Let me open the Dynamo. I have Dynamo 1.3. Let's start with the new one. We need to export the room data. So we have to select the room element from our project. Selection. Category. We need all category of room. So all elements of category node room data you will be able to type and it will be get selected rooms the script which is running automatically we can make it manual it will be more helpful i'm going to try exporting room name and room member i need the i need to get the parameters so get parameter node that we need all the elements it is there are 14 elements the parameter name it is simply a name and we will be able to copy by selecting these two nodes or can hold the shift key and select the other one you can simply press ctrl and drag it to get a copy Let's change the parameter name as number to get the room number. So these two are getting the parameter values. I can select those two and group it. And I can rename this as get parameters value. I can press Ctrl L to align it. Then we have to combine the parameters to export before exporting. You can create as many as parameters like radius and room areas or room levels. You can add up those parameters but it's enough for me. I need to create a list of parameters. So it's nothing but list create. You can see the plus green sign. It means creating a list. We're going to create some elements. And there are two parameters we have. So zero and one we have to add. So in this way, we will get two parameters. But the thing is in Excel, we need to have like under name column, we have to have the name of the room under number column, we need to have the number room numbers. So for that reason, I'm going to rearrange this data. There is a, another node the list node which is add item to end and add item to friend i have to add the item to the friend sorry to the friend the name before the name data similarly i need to copy this by control copy c control c and control v or holding the control you can copy the data the second column it is number and their value now we can make a list 
out of it let us run and get the data we can see that there are two lists main two lists one you can see there are room names oh, oh there are two room names and available we miss the name in the header we can rerun it again now we can see the name value in the beginning after that room names the second list we can see number and after that room numbers in excel we have to reorder it the list need to be reordered so there is a list parameter called transpose node it will do some action so that's a red mark indication and it will transpose our node values to like this name number and name number in that order we'll be able to minimize it let us group this all together before that control l to align it and right click create group let me change this color into orange so that we'll be able to understand this is a we are processing the data process data now we are ready to export the data to excel searching the node it is very simple we need to search what we need we need to search like excel we have to write the data to excel so select write file to excel from this node we will be able to understand what are the parameters which require or what are the nodes we need there is a file path which requires which is nothing but a string so we can look for file path there it is take the node we can browse through the file we can assign a file which wherever it is available i can save in my desktop excel file dot xls x which creates a excel new file and will be assigned to the file path and it will result in a string file path name we can assign to the file path the sheet name we can create our own sheet name or we can define sheet as sheet 1 usually the sheet value will be sheet 1 in the excel it's a string again and the start row and start column will be 0 0 we can assign it by double clicking we will get the code block start row start column the data will be whatever the list what we are getting and do we need to overwrite the datas yeah it is true sometimes we to get the different datas we have to overwrite it true notes yeah true or false notes we need to make it true before it control align it we can make group control g let us call this as export to excel give the list now we will be able to run it we will get the excel file updated let's save this file and if you need anything to be updated 
the data. For example, we can say bedroom master bedroom one and master bathroom one and bedroom one and bedroom two bathroom one bath two bath three and we will be able to save the file so now we just got exported we need to import the same data in the same script we'll be able to do just freeze the the files what we did let us select all the nodes by holding the shift right click and you will be able to see the freeze option and in the transpose you can see freeze so now we are able to freeze our nodes which helps not we don't want to process this data anymore so we will be able to freeze it and these nodes will be not able to exist while runtime the other side we supposed to import the nodes from Revit to the Revit from Excel file it's nothing but Excel read from file by getting the node we will be able to understand we need file and sheet name read as a string sr no true or false the file which is nothing but file path and the file path which is different and the file it is different and you will be able to see a node file from path take the node and assign it here you will be able to browse it and the excel file which is available here open it yes and the sheet name it is sheet 1 and read a string yes true or false true and let's align this and group it let's make this as green it's an input import from excel we have to process the data which is nothing but we have to realign those data the way we expose to outside transpose the data what we are taking in so here it comes there are many data which is coming in so we will be able to run the script Excel opened okay so I guess it is the sheet name which is sheet 1 yes small now it runs properly and the data so you will be able to get to know that uh, we need to get the parameters something like name and the second one which is nothing but the numbers we can remove the first one and then we can assign it back to our parameters or we will be able to get the first in the list we can get the first uh, data as a as a parameter name and we will be able to process however we need I guess uh, we will be able to get the first from the list remove it so 
we will be able to do get item at index we have to give the list item and we can give the index the zeroth one run it we will get the result yes we got the room names the similar way copy and paste it one and run we'll be able to get the numbers and pin the data We have to remove the name parameter from the list. There is a node name called a rest of or deconstruct. So remove the first item from the list given list. This is the one we are looking for. And we'll be able to copy the same from both the parameters. Now our data are available. We will be able to set our elements. There is a parameter uh, node which set our parameter, which is called set parameter by name. It requires the elements from our model, all the elements. and the name of the parameter which is nothing but name the second one which is nothing but number and the value parameter name which is number and the value we will be able to copy the same we will get the connection together and the value will be room name the parameter name which is nothing but name We will be able to align it and group it as set parameter to element. And the remaining all are processing the data. So we will be able to group as one process data so this here it is the neat and clean now if I run this room names will be updated from our Excel sheet now you can see that the room names are updated as we updated in the excel sheet thank you so much if you enjoyed just like and subscribe and share there are more learning videos coming up you can join with me in linkedin the links are below and even you can download the script from the below link i will upload it later thank you so much for watching